look at you two. You've been seeing each other for a few days, and it seems like there's a spark there. But is your crush really into you? He's into me. Awesome! If they haven't told you their feelings yet, their body language might. This is Your Body On, Eight Signs Your Crush Likes You. Number 8. Blushing We often blush when we're angry or feel humiliated. Okay, fine, fine, I'm cool, I'm fine. But someone can blush if they are attracted to you. It's because their body releases adrenaline, the hormone we secrete when we're stressed out. Adrenaline speeds up breathing and heart rate. If your crush shares your feelings, their blood vessels will expand to increase blood flow and deliver more oxygen. The veins in their face will also dilate, causing more blood to flow there than usual, giving them a reddened appearance. She's blushing, right? You're totally She's blushing. blushing. So if your date is blushing, you'll know how they feel about you without them saying a word. Or they might just be embarrassed. Number 7. Vocal Changes a date coming through. Whether it's subconscious or not, shifting the volume or pitch of our voices is a nonverbal sign of attraction. You're going by sound? What are we, whales? Your crush can change the tone of their voice to stand out from the crowd and catch your eye. <laughs> Studies have shown that people usually lower the tone or pitch of their voice when speaking to someone they are attracted to. Well, hey there. Are you Wi-Fi? Because I'm totally feeling a connection. That's sexy. And contrary to popular belief, women don't raise their voices when they feel attracted to a partner. Research shows they lower the tone of their voice more than men do. How you doing? Number six, touching. Mutual touching increases our heart rates and our desire. Wanna touch it? It's because touching releases oxytocin. This hormone plays a big role in human development from a very early age. Breastfeeding releases it to build a bond between the mother and her child and it continues to be released throughout life, in women and men, especially through orgasm and touch. It builds trust between partners. Intentional touching masked as accidental touching is a sign of attraction. But it doesn't necessarily mean your date is sexually interested. Number five, open posture. If your crush uncrosses their arms or has a relaxed face, they find you non-threatening and maybe interesting. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. But if your partner displays an open posture and you don't show interest in return, they would change to a more closed stance. Studies on nonverbal behavior show that men and women use posture differently. Women tend to toss their heads, move their shoulders, and laugh more to signal their interest. They also protrude their chests and flip their hair. Males might tilt their heads when they laugh if they're interested. Number four, leaning in and head tilting. The closer your crush gets to you, the more attraction they tend to feel. No, thank you. Leaning in and tilting your head both release pheromones. These behavior-altering chemicals help connect two people deeply. A study shows that interested males lean forward with their bodies facing a woman and their heads tilted upward. Maybe. When a woman is very interested in a man and he's watching her, she turns her head and body away from him, leaning backward. Ah, the dance of love. Number three, touching hair and adjusting clothes. If your date is adjusting their clothing or running their hand through their hair often, this could be a clear sign that they're trying to look their best for you. They want to impress you. When a woman touches her hair, it can have several meanings. If she's attracted, she might brush her hair to the side to show her neck. But if she plays with her hair a lot, it could also be a sign that she is bored or not interested. Did I tell you that I have an artificial hip? Number two, prolonged eye contact. You're looking each other straight in the eye. Feel the attraction? Maintaining eye contact shows interest. Your crush values your opinions and what you have to say. And just like touching each other, mutual gazing can trigger oxytocin to release and make people bond emotionally. So, how about a staring contest? Number one, mirroring. No, your date is not making fun of you. If they subconsciously imitate your voice's qualities or body language, it just means they're into you. This nonverbal behavior is driven by a set of brain cells called mirror neurons. When someone copies your attitude, it activates the areas of your brain that make you feel good. 
A person who mimics you checking your watch or taking a sip of a drink might be paying close attention to you because they're attracted. And a 2009 study showed that people who were mimicked rated the mimicker higher than a non-mimicker. You can't stop breathing, Ted. Wait, are you dating your clone? Wow. <laughs> so there's real chemistry between you two. Body language can speak louder than words. Now it's finally going to happen. You're about to kiss. But do you think you could do it for three full days? Well, pucker up. We'll find out on another episode of Your Body On.